hundreds of kilometres just to get a diagnosis, while others cannot get an appointment at all. The Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, has admitted there are serious challenges to the country's test and trace system. Luke Hanrahan reports. Rising cases indicating a possible second spike. A shortage of COVID tests has led the UK government to admit to operational challenges. Should have prepared for September. Which for Tony Borrow, an assistant PE teacher who woke up with symptoms last week, has been frustrating. It's common sense. You know you got the winter come in. So I tried to get a test, it was impossible. So I tried all day, couldn't get it. They even said you have to go to like Scotland. There have been widespread complaints about a lack of tests available and the long distances some are expected to travel to take them. So I've driven here to Greenwich to just outside the O2 arena where there's a test center to see if it's possible to get hold of a COVID-19 test. Can I get a COVID-19 test, sir? If you can just turn right over there. It seems like you need to book to get a COVID-19 test. So it's not quite clear on the website. And I wonder whether other people have had the same experience. So we'll just wait and see whether that's true or not. In this car, a mother and child, Sheila and her son, turned away, unable to make an appointment. What's just happened to you? Um, I've just been turned back because I've been trying for like 48 hours online and I haven't been able to get through at all. There's no phone number I can ring or anything like that. And I've been on the online uh, government site and I can't get through. It's just saying it's busy and that's all. And what did these people just tell you? Uh, they've just advised me to keep trying. Everybody warned the government that they needed to plan John Ashworth the is the shadow health secretary. We've got 8 million children going back to school, people going back to work. He's calling on the government to act now so to avoid so a second should, wave. Should no surprise. Our government have got to do better. We've had, we made huge mistakes in the first time round. We're now facing a second wave. We don't want a second wave of ministerial mistakes. The government says it hopes to increase capacity to half a million a day by the end of October. Luke Hanrahan, Euronews, London. Over the Atlantic in the US, the virus has now been blamed for the deaths of more than 200,000.